been in the red zone, and they've scored 33 touchdowns and seven field goals. 40 out of 42, and twice tonight they're two for two. Incredible record. Second down, they give it a battle left side. Battle gets a gap, steps outside at the 20 at the 15. First down, gain of 12. Mikhail Smith went along for a bit of a ride. And now they're they are in the red zone, or as they as they call it in Tempe, the maroon zone. <laughs> They're unstoppable once they get once they get to this point on the field. Battle off left tackle. Led once again. Look at the block right there by Jeff Paul. Boy, he's doing it all. And here's exactly what you were talking about right up to the moment. 42 of 44. Give it a poke inside. Poke at the 10 and a saving tackle that time. By Jimmy Sprott. Incidentally, Arizona having to make do without the services of Mike Sloco. He was injured about three series ago. He's been replaced by Marcus Bell, his backup. Well, Sloco's back in the ball game now. This first series he has been in. He had missed three or four series. And Shadow Jackson, who normally starts, is not in the lineup either. Not available tonight. Give this time to battle right side. Battles at the three to the two-yard line. And good enough for a first down. Tip makes the tackle. Great body lean by Terry Battle on this play. I'm fixing his shoulder shoulder pads there, but great body lean, great, uh, great nose for the goal line, as we talked about earlier. He just smells it. He gets the ball this close, and uh, he's like a predator. He's going to get to that goal line. Battle's now 13 rushes for 83 yards and two touchdowns. Pretty good half. And he wants one more here. Oh, that's it. Touchdown, Sun Devils. <laughs> Terry Battle with his third touchdown of the game, and the Sun Devils, with the extra point, will try to make it 28-7. to The Arizona State offensive line just reestablishes the line of scrimmage. And Terry Battle sticks it in. I think they've done that since about the midway point of the first quarter. They are dominating the line of scrimmage. Needs to try for point on the hold of pump. Nearly perfect. 117 remaining first half, and the Sun Devils stretch it out to a 21-point lead, 28 to 7. And the Sun Devils have that look of a team that is intent on taking no prisoners. I, the Tiger. Whatever you want to call it, there are a million cliches, but they seem to have it tonight, especially in this in this second quarter. They've just taken charge offensively and defensively of this football game. Well, in fact, along those lines, and just to, to further that analogy, the eye of the tiger, that really is a, a cause, if you will, of Bruce Snyder's. He, he uses the analogy of he wants his team to be like the predator, like the lion. He said, you don't go after the wildebeest because you're mad at him. You go after him because you're hungry. His theory is, don't play mad, play hungry. He's, he's, a, he's a master of, uh, of psychology and uh, just had a great, great season. When we talk about this team, a lot of times the team playing this well, you have to worry about overcoaching them. A lot of times just let them play. He said, not true with this team. This is a team that the more they win, the more coachable they become. And it's been one of the secrets. And he, is, uh, he has identified that as a strength of this team, and he's taken advantage of it. Callan and Northcutt will be the deep men this time. Callan's been not on this return team. It's not going to matter. The only guy that can return, I think, is the trumpeter. <laughs> The, the Cats, rather, will start at the 20-yard line. They have a minute and 17 seconds to do a little business here. It'll be interesting to see how Dick Tomey decides to play this. Well, this is an all-or-nothing game for them, as they talked about earlier. It's their bowl game. They still have an outside shot at getting into a bowl unless they lose. But uh, they gotta, they got to just leave it all on the field at this point. Well, they're going to the shotgun. with time going deep and the man fell down it was mcdaniel the intended receiver and he tripped and fell at the 45 yard line and it's a little bit late for this but i think they need to get back to attacking the asu corners they tried it a couple of times early uh, 
ball, one ball was dropped, one ball was a little bit off, and they kind of gave up on it. They gave up on that that game plan of attacking the ASU corners. And uh, now, you know, at the end of the half, they're going to be sitting off playing real soft. But I expect second half to see Dick Tomey come back out and attack the cornerbacks. Have a momentary delay here. Ready to go. Here's a look at Derek Rogers, and he has been something special. Undersized, we're down on him, but don't tell that to him. Here's Taylor on the right side, and Taylor gets about 23 yards. That has pretty much the look of uh, a team that is going to just take what they have and go in. Derek Rogers, with help, made the stop. And now we're going to get a timeout. Sure, who called this? Yeah, I'm uh, waiting to see who uh, goes back to the eye of the tiger. If it's Arizona State that called that timeout, they want more. Arizona State, yes, it is. Their no? second they are. of the half. Would the time, would the timer please set the clock to 104? Why not? 104. Why not take a shot at it? Well, they may need it. I mean, go back again to last year's game where Arizona State had a 14 point lead with less than eight minutes to go, and Arizona scored 17 points. To win that game, Arizona State tried to keep the ball on the ground, tried to run it, tried to get some first downs and couldn't do it. Uh, and I think maybe this has just a little to do with not having a big enough lead last year. Well, a reminder to stay with us at halftime as we present Fox Sports News with Randy Sproggy. That's coming up at the half, just about a minute and four seconds on the play clock away from now. The game clock, I should say. Twenty-eight to seven, one oh four left, and Arizona State wants a little more here. The one thing Arizona's done is they have kept Derek Rogers out of the out of the game by running away from him or by double teaming him. I've been watching him pretty closely, and uh, they're clearly avoiding Derek Rogers at all costs. Of course, Derek Smith and Pat Tillman have picked up the slack. They're making some big plays. Third down and seven. And they come after Smith this time. And Smith trying to roll away, find some help. Now he throws, and it is caught for a first down by Brad Brennan. And that's all the quarterback that time. Great, great presence of mind by Keith Smith. He looks for someplace to run. And one of the things he's going to learn to develop is when he does start to run, he's going to look, up, look down the field and try to find a receiver right there. He sees his tight end crossing across the middle of the field, and that's something that he's going to continue to develop rather than just running with the ball. Try to find a receiver once you break the pocket. 58 seconds left, and they'll go out of the shotgun again from the 34-yard line. Smith now steps up, now rolls away. Now he's got the whole field. Look out here. 40, 45, midfield, 45. Tried to get out of bounds that time wisely. Couldn't do it. Pat Tillman ran him down with 49 seconds left. And they still have two timeouts, so... We'll see if they use one here as they will. The clock will stop while the chains are moved and they're ready to go. 22 yards on that scramble by Keith Smith. He even carries the ball like a, like a tailback. He doesn't carry it like a quarterback. No, I think he's thinking touchdown with every oh, yeah. And they're ready to go. And they used up four seconds that time. Smith again rolls away, trying to get outside. Now he'll come back toward the middle. He rolls away from one man. He's still on his feet, still trying to get away. And finally, guess who got him, folks? You're not going to run away from Derek Rogers because he is as fast as you are. Sooner or later, he's going to be there. And, uh, and that just took too long. I mean, he, he makes some nifty moves and trying to get away, but uh, he needs to try to find somewhere to throw the ball. And, and again, I'll go back to the fact that Arizona State is staying in their lanes. Look at Sean Sueda. He's not rushing the pass, but they're staying in their lanes looking for that run. 13-yard loss, and now Arizona takes a timeout. I thought they were going to let the clock tick down. They probably used about, I'd say, 11 or 12 seconds uh, in making this decision to call this timeout. Not very good clock management by Arizona at this point. Got time for a couple more plays and could get easily into field goal range. Uh, you can keep Derek Rogers out of the game for only so long. And actually, even on that play, they did a pretty good job on him. Wisconsin 35, Illinois 15. Tommy trying to find some secrets that have not yet uh, surfaced. North Carolina 